So if you view other people's stories, it will go like this. Simply the same way as you do with any other phone. Okay, and that's it for Instagram. Now we go move on to WhatsApp. For privacy purposes, I'm not going to really show you all the contacts and whatnot. So basically, it works the same, same way. You can swipe, you can go to status, you can call. Yep. And you just type it when it's needed. Okay. Now, if you want to do other things like play games here, it's actually, I would say that most of the games is will work on this phone, you can try them out. But sometimes due to limited space, you may be able to only download those games that require a low memory space. Yep. And lastly, the gallery works like any normal phone. And alternatively, you can go to the Google Photos to view the photos that you've taken. Yes. And here is the weather weekday. Base it detects based on location. Yeah, from quite similar. And if you have any other functions, do feel free to drop me a comment and I'll try to reply if I've time. So just a few more quick looks before I end this video. Yep. Anyway, the settings is the same thing you have for Android. The end time is automatic if you have a SIM card or you're connected to the internet. And okay, another recommendation recently I found that there was this Google Opinion Rewards which allows you to earn money by doing surveys. I've earned 64 cents now. We're just doing two surveys over the past three days. They just give you surveys, and I mean, you can use this money to pay for your Google Play apps. So it's quite good if you have a few minutes to spare. Go ahead and download and try it out. And that's it for my phone review. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will show you how I'm going to close this. Yep. And open it. So, works like a standard flip phone. And before I end, I'll just show you, uh, if you want to call, just press the buttons and the phone will automatically appear. Okay, and so that's it for the video, and hope you enjoyed my new phone. Goodbye! Thanks for watching!